Captain, hello, Mr. Skinner. How are you today? Um... I appreciate. I'm glad you like it. I've been working on perfecting this recipe for weeks now. Well, it certainly smells amazing. Do you mind if I take a look in the kitchen? Not at all. Follow me. This is really impressive, Mr. Skinner. You sure have a knack for baking. Thank you. I take pride in my work. I can tell. This wine tastes fantastic, too. Thank you for having me. My pleasure, Superintendent Chalmers. It was great to meet you and hear about your accomplishments. I hope to come back and visit again soon. What the hell? My citrus orantium is burnt. It's burnt. How did that happen? I don't know. It was just cooking and now it's ruined. This is the last straw. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe we can try again another time. No, I need to figure out what to do next. Maybe I should just chuck everything and start over. Uh, is that really necessary? I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm at a loss here. Why are pitched voice? Okay, that's a good idea. Maybe we can try making some stir-fry or something quick? Uh, yeah, you're right. I need to get a grip on this and figure out what to do next. We'll get through this together. We always do. Damn it, I need to replace that burnt citrus orantium. Wait, I have an idea. The Huila department across the street would be a great substitute for the burnt citrus orantium. I'm going to go there and see if they have it. And maybe while I'm at it, I can find a replacement for this burnt food, too. Just <laughs> baking a steamed version of citrus orantium, and the smoke you're seeing is actually just steam. That doesn't look like steam to me. It looks like smoke from a burning dinner. I told you, it's just steam. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, right, Skinner. I've heard that one before. Fine, okay. I dropped the citrus orantium on the floor, and now it's burning. <sighs> Happy now. Skinner, you need to be more honest. This is getting ridiculous. I know. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. Yeah, yeah. Just don't burn the house down next time. This meal doesn't seem right. What is it? Uh, well, you see, it's citrus oranium as promised. I highly doubt that. Why are you trying to pass off this inferior product on me? I'm not trying to deceive you, Chalmers. I simply made a... I find that hard to believe. You're usually so meticulous in your cooking. Look, Chalmers, I don't have time to explain everything right now. Let's just enjoy the dinner and talk about something else, okay? Fine, but I still don't trust your judgment when it comes to food. I'll try my best to make it up to you next time. Fire in the kitchen. What's going on? It's just a mind flare. Don't worry about it. A uh, mind flare in the kitchen? That doesn't make sense. If I know what I'm talking about, let's not make a big deal out of this. I want to see it for myself. You can't just hide it from me. Fine. But don't say I didn't warn you. Mind flares are dangerous. The citrus orantium was delicious. Skinner, thank you. You're welcome, Chalmers. It's one of my specialities. I noticed the house is still on fire, though. Oh, that. Don't worry about it. It's just a mind flare trying to mess with us. I'm not so sure, Skinner. It seems pretty real. Trust me, Chalmers. There's nothing to worry about. Let's just enjoy the rest of our walk. All right, if you say so. But I'll be on my way soon. No need to rush, Chalmers. Take your time. Goodbye. Goodbye, Skinner. Thanks for the meal.